What's up guys? I wanted to bring you guys another tool review of one of my favorite tools. These are made by GearWrench. Um, they're their pivot force dikes slash side cutters. Um, let's see, 82120 is the part number. You can get these in a set with a pair of needle nose, I think for like 25 bucks on Amazon right now. Um, I'll go ahead and link that below. But the reason why these are my favorite uh, pair of pliers, or um, I guess in that group of tool category, is because they're so versatile. You can use them for your regular everyday just snipping wires all the way up to cat cutting uh, battery cable. And you know, although you might not want to use these um, in every situation, but if you do need to, you can use these in a pinch to cut battery cables. And it actually takes minimal force to get the job done. It's not like your everyday dikes that, you know, you hurt your hands or, you know, you, uh, you, get, you get a little bit of a bruise or whatever trying to cut cable. There are some other versions to this. Um, I'm not gonna speak to that right now because I don't have any experience with those. The only experience that I have is with the Gear Wrench. Um, Gear Wrench is my favorite tool brand and I eventually hope to get uh, my toolbox set up with Gear Wrench, uh, mainly Gear Wrench tools. If you guys haven't been to their website, I suggest you go there now and check out all the cool stuff they have. Um, they have a lot more than just uh, you know your everyday wrenches and ratchets and stuff. Um, they do have some specialty tools, specialty sockets, um, things of that nature. And here is how the mechanism works. If you guys haven't seen these before, they call these the pivot force. Um, and you can see this little mechanism in here, um, how that operates to give you a little bit more to leverage on whatever you're working with. And you do have the ability to handle the smaller jobs that you need to as well. You know, I'm not certain if these would cut any kind of, uh, like, metal bar or anything like that. I don't know if I've got anything around here that I could try it out on. Let's see. Uh, this is a piece of aluminum from a gun cleaning kit that I had just laying around. This might take a little bit of extra force because this is metal, but We'll see if it uh, cuts through it. This is a piece of aluminum bar and it just cut through that with no issues at all. I can't speak to this um, tool enough. It's gotten me out of a few pinches. Um, you know when you're out on the road doing uh, you know some work for somebody or helping somebody out and you're not at your own garage or shop or whatever and you're able to throw something like this in your toolbox <clears throat> if you have to cut a battery cable or you know even something as heavy duty as this aluminum bar I'm not sure exactly how thick that is but uh, as you guys can see it's you know there was a little bit of effort there but it was still able to cut through that and I would uh, I would like to see you guys try to do that with a regular set of dikes. I think I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. And um, if you guys haven't seen my paying it forward video, I suggest you guys go over and check that out. Um, basically, we're going to do a giveaway for somebody in need that is in the uh, mechanical technical industry that requires hand tools. Basically, I'm going to try and put together a package of tools to give away to somebody. I'll go ahead and link that video below. If you guys haven't checked out my Facebook page, go ahead and hit <clears throat> head back to the, my main page up in the banner. You can click it there. There is a donation link for you guys to donate to the giveaway as well up in the banner. I'll also leave a link down below for that donation link for the giveaway as well. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. Share it to as many people as you can. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.